Hello friends, I hope you have had a wonderful week and uh, that your Sunday is going well. What was that flashiness? Anyway, so uh, last week your question was brought to you by Bullaby who asked what is the thing that you are most proud of? We're going to start off here with Zincat's comment who says I guess I'm most proud of the friends and family I have around me which is really awesome to have so many wonderful friends and family and I hope that you get to spend lots of time with them. Now Zincat also gives us our question for this week which is going to be what's the best gift you've ever given someone and what made it special so that's your answer that's your question for this week so let me know in the answers comments down below and i will read your answers to that in next week's video um thank you to all of you who've who've been suggesting questions i really appreciate it and don't worry if i haven't gotten to yours yet i will in the future uh there's a couple here that are kind of christmas e themed um like this one here i know that gifts can be for anything even if it's birthday or you know e even just random but at christmas time there's a lot of things to do with gifts so i'm going to include that here as a Christmassy kind of theme. Now Mitsu here first starts by saying, I'm late but whatever, yeah, because you, you answered three hours before I'm recording this, my goodness, <laughs> I'm kidding. It doesn't matter, as long as it's there before I start recording, you're totally fine, so don't worry about it. But she can't come up with anything cool, so I'll go the easy route at the moment. I'm, at the moment, she's super proud of her older sister, who just graduated from high school with so-called e-papers, and got many stipends, which is really, really awesome for your sister. Milo says he's most proud of his sisters Lila, Marjali, and Jamila. I apologize if I mispronounce those names. I'm sorry for being the cutest sisters alive and my brother Joel for being the most supportive as he can be, which is really, really awesome to have such supportive siblings. And it sounds like all of you get along really well. Sears Colum, you say uh, helping people is the thing that you should be proud of? Absolutely. Helping people is the thing you should be most proud of. And writing that I... Uh, the, bleh. Writing the I as a capital letter because I means me? Sure, why not? But apparently the thing you are most proud of is when you switched off the autocorrector. Well, autocorrect is a terrible abomination and should be banned. <laughs> Skelm, I'm glad that this question got you thinking a lot. You say it has to be something that I've accomplished in my job. About two years ago, you disassembled a whole engine of a Puget 406. I am I think that's how you pronounce it. I could be wrong. I don't know. Um, changed every bearing and seal from it and then assembled it again. Uh, I was really afraid of how it would go, but when I was finished, the engine worked perfectly and it still does. If a human has made it, a human can fix it. So congratulations on that. That's really cool. As I replied to you, uh, if th I know nothing about cars, so I probably would have ended up causing the thing to explode, which would not be very fun times. My mom is most proud of me. She says, love you to death. And thank you for everything, especially bringing joy and happiness into my life. Wise Wizard is most proud of those who excel without being consumed by ambition. Cassette Cat says that he's not proud of anything I do, but if I had to say something, it would be to overcome uh, issues or try new things that make me feel proud, I guess. And that's always good. Trying new things is important, and I, I'm sure there's lots of things that you've done that you can be proud of. Funny Fluffy missed the last question, but no worries at all. Um, can't quite say what I am between honest or loyal. But you're proud that you learn new things every day and that you're improving with them, which is always, always very good. Learning's important, and it's even better when you actually improve on the things that you're learning, too. An RT Hunter is most proud of cats and cars. Give him a cat and he's the happiest person in the world. That's hilarious. That's awesome. Cats are really awesome. I have a cat as well, as you all know, although I'm still trying to figure out a way how to get him to stop pooping on the floor instead of in his litter box. Him T Official is most proud of when he bought his first car, which is definitely an accomplishment. You say you would walk a couple miles to work for a few months before I saved enough to buy your first car. Um, even though I later sold it, I'm still proud that you got your, you're still proud that you got your own car, your first car on your own, and that's definitely awesome. That's definitely something to be proud of. Having your own car gives you a lot more freedom, so it's great when you finally have that. Croco finds this to be a tough question because he doesn't often remember what he even has for lunch. Oh my goodness, how could you? But one week later, he's figured out something, uh, which could either be a degree that you got in school or your ability to understand, respond, and write in the English language, aside from grammar. But to be honest, if I can understand what a person's saying, I don't give a crud what their grammar is like, okay? Bullaby is extremely happy that it was his question this week. And the thing that he's most proud of is the one message that he sent to Jolly telling her that he loves her. He says if he hadn't sent that, he wouldn't be as happy as he is 
today. And so that is absolutely wonderful, and I'm glad that you two are happy. Now that is it for this week. Thank you all so much for your answers. I look forward to seeing your answers for next week's question, which again, if you don't to remember, is what was the best gift that you gave to someone and what made it special? I look forward to hearing your answers to that. But before that, I actually forgot to say what the thing I'm most proud of is, in which I don't really know what to say to that. It's definitely something that you kind of have to think about, but I think what I would be most proud of right now would be the fact that I have a job teaching what I love to do. For those who don't know, I do parkour and I also teach it. I am a coach at a couple different places, which is really, really cool and really awesome. And that's what I'm most proud of, of myself at least. But anyway, I will see you all again next week. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. Think long and hard about your answers and we'll see you next week. God bless.